In string theory, K-theory classification refers to a conjectured application of K-theory in abstract algebra and algebraic topology to superstrings, to classify the allowed Raman Raman field strengths as well as the charges of stable D-brains. In condensed matter physics K-theory has also found important applications, especially in the topological classification of topological insulators, superconductors and stable Fermi surfaces Kitaev Topic history This conjecture, applied to D-brain charges, was first proposed by Minajian and Moore it was popularized by Witten 1998, who demonstrated that in type IIB string theory arises naturally from Ashik Sen's realization of arbitrary D brain configurations as stacks of D9 and anti D9 brains after tachyon condensation. Such stacks of brains are inconsistent in a non torsion Nouveau Schwartz three form background, which, as was highlighted by Kapustin, complicates the extension of the K theory classification to such cases. Bunecht and Varghese suggested a solution to this problem. D brains are in general classified by a twisted K theory, that had earlier been defined by Rosenberg. Topic applications The K-theory classification of D-brains has had numerous applications. For example, Hanani and Cole 2000 used it to argue that there are eight species of orientifold one plane. Aranga 2001 applied the K-theory classification to derive new consistency conditions for flux compactifications. K theory has also been used to conjecture a formula for the topologies of T dual manifolds by Bunecht, Evson, and Varghese. Recently, K theory has been conjectured to classify the spinors in compactifications on generalized complex manifolds. Topic open problems Despite these successes, RR fluxes are not quite classified by K theory. Diaconescu, Moore and Witten argued that the K-theory classification is incompatible with S-duality in IIB string theory. In addition, if one attempts to classify fluxes on a compact 10-dimensional spacetime, then a complication arises due to the self-duality of the RR fluxes. The duality uses the Hodge star, which depends on the metric and so is continuously valued and in particular is generically irrational. Thus not all of the RR fluxes, which are interpreted as the Chern characters in K-theory, can be rational. However Chern characters are always rational, and so the K-theory classification must be replaced. One needs to choose a half of the fluxes to quantize, or a polarization in the geometric quantization inspired language of Diaconescu, Moore, and Witten, and later of Varghes and Sutty. Alternately, one may use the K theory of a nine dimensional time slice as has been done by Maldacena, Moore, and Cyberg. K-theory classification of RR fluxes In the classical limit of type II string theory, which is type II supergravity, the Ramond Ramond field strengths are differential forms. In the quantum theory the well-definedness of the partition functions of D-brains implies that the RR field strengths obey Dirac quantization conditions when spacetime is compact, or when a spatial slice is compact and one considers only the magnetic components of the field strength which lie along the spatial directions. This led 20th-century physicists to classify RR field strengths using cohomology with integral coefficients. However some authors have argued that the cohomology of spacetime with integral coefficients is too big. For example, in the presence of nouveau schwartz h flux or non-spin cycles some RR fluxes dictate the presence of D-brains. 
In the former case this is a consequence of the supergravity equation of motion which states that the product of a RR flux with the NS3 form is a D brain charge density. Thus the set of topologically distinct RR field strengths that can exist in brain-free configurations is only a subset of the cohomology with integral coefficients. This subset is still too big, because some of these classes are related by large gauge transformations. In QED there are large gauge transformations which add integral multiples of 2 pi to Wilson loops. The p-form potentials in type II supergravity theories also enjoy these large gauge transformations, but due to the presence of Chern-Simons terms in the supergravity actions these large gauge transformations transform not only the p-form potentials but also simultaneously the p plus 3 form field strengths. Thus to obtain the space of inequivalent field strengths from the forementioned subset of integral cohomology we must quotient by these large gauge transformations. The atia herzebruck spectral sequence constructs twisted K-theory, with a twist given by the NS3 form field strength, as a quotient of a subset of the cohomology with integral coefficients. In the classical limit, which corresponds to working with rational coefficients, this is precisely the quotient of a subset described above in supergravity. The quantum corrections come from torsion classes and contain mod 2 torsion corrections due to the freed witten anomaly. Thus twisted K-theory classifies the subset of RR field strengths that can exist in the absence of D-brains quotiented by large gauge transformations. Daniel Fried has attempted to extend this classification to include also the RR potentials using differential K-theory. <laughs> K-theory classification of D-brains K-theory classifies D-brains in noncompact spacetimes, intuitively in spacetimes in which we are not concerned about the flux sourced by the brain having nowhere to go. While the K-theory of a 10D spacetime classifies D-brains as subsets of that spacetime, if the spacetime is the product of time and a fixed 9-manifold then K-theory also classifies the conserved D-brain charges on each 9-dimensional spatial slice. While we were required to forget about RR potentials to obtain the K-theory classification of RR field strengths, we are required to forget about RR field strengths to obtain the K-theory classification of D-brains. <laughs> K-theory charge versus BPS charge As has been stressed by Petter Horava, the K-theory classification of D-brains is independent of, and in some ways stronger than, the classification of BPS states. K-theory appears to classify stable D-brains missed by supersymmetry-based classifications. For example, D-brains with torsion charges, that is with charges in the order N cyclic group Z N Display style math bf z underscore n attract each other and so can never be BPS. In fact, n such brains can decay, whereas no superposition of brains that satisfy a Bogomolny bound may ever decay. However, the charge of such brains is conserved modulo n, and this is captured by the K-theory classification, but not by a BPS classification. Such torsion brains have been applied, for example, to model Douglas Schenker strings in supersymmetric U -N gauge theories. <laughs> K theory from tachyon condensation Ashiksen has conjectured that, in the absence of a topologically non-trivial NS3 form flux, all IIB brain configurations can be obtained from stacks of spacefilling D9 and anti-D9 brains via tachyon condensation. 
the topology of the resulting brains is encoded in the topology of the gauge bundle on the stack of the spacefilling brains. The topology of the gauge bundle of a stack of D9s and anti-D9s can be decomposed into a gauge bundle on the D9s and another bundle on the anti-D9s. Tachyon condensation transforms such a pair of bundles to another pair in which the same bundle is direct summed with each component in the pair. Thus the tachyon condensation invariant quantity, that is, the charge which is conserved by the tachyon condensation process, is not a pair of bundles but rather the equivalence class of a pair of bundles under direct sums of the same bundle on both sides of the pair. This is precisely the usual construction of topological K-theory. Thus the gauge bundles on stacks of D9s and anti-D9s are classified by topological K-theory. If sense conjecture is right, all D-brain configurations in type IIB are then classified by K-theory. Petter Horava has extended this conjecture to type IIA using D8 brains. Twisted K-theory from MMS instantons While the tachyon condensation picture of the K-theory classification classifies D-brains as subsets of a 10-dimensional spacetime with no NS3 form flux, the Maldacena, Moore, Cyberg picture classifies stable D-brains with finite mass as subsets of a 9-dimensional spatial slice of spacetime. The central observation is that D brains are not classified by integral homology because DP brains wrapping certain cycles suffer from a Fried Witten anomaly, which is cancelled by the insertion of D P2 brains and sometimes D P4 brains that end on the afflicted DP brain. These inserted brains may either continue to infinity, in which case the composite object has an infinite mass, or else they may end on an anti-DP brain, in which case the total DP brain charge is zero. In either case, one may wish to remove the anomalous DP brains from the spectrum, leaving only a subset of the original integral cohomology. The inserted brains are unstable. To see this, imagine that they extend in time away into the past from the anomalous brain. This corresponds to a process in which the inserted brains decay via a DP brain that forms, wraps the forementioned cycle and then disappears. MMS refer to this process as an instanton, although really it need not be instantonic. The conserved charges are thus the non-anomalous subset quotiented by the unstable insertions. This is precisely the Attia-Herzebruck spectral sequence construction of twisted K-theory as a set. <laughs> Reconciling twisted K-theory and S-duality Diaconescu, Moore, and Witten have pointed out that the twisted K-theory classification is not compatible with the S-duality covariance of type IIB string theory. For example, consider the constraint on the Raman-Raman three-form field strength G3 in the Attia-Herzebruck spectral sequence AHSS D 3 G 3 equals S Q three G three plus H G three equals G three G three plus H G three equals Zero Display style D underscore three G underscore three equals square carrot three G underscore three plus H cup G underscore three equals G underscore three cup G underscore three plus H cup G underscore three equals zero 
where d3 equals square 3 plus h is the first non-trivial differential in the AHSS, square 3 is the third Steenrod square and the last equality follows from the fact that the nth Steenrod square acting on any n form x is x display style cup x the above equation is not invariant under S duality, which exchanges G3 and H instead. Diaconescu, Moore, and Witten have proposed the following S duality covariant extension G3 G3 plus H G3 plus H H equals P display style G underscore three cup G underscore three plus H cup G underscore three plus H cup H equals P, where P is an unknown characteristic class that depends only on the topology and in particular not on the fluxes. Diaconescu, Fried and Moore 2007 have found a constraint on P using the E8 gauge theory approach to M theory pioneered by Diaconescu, Moore, and Witten. Thus D brains in IIB are not classified by twisted K theory after all, but some unknown S duality covariant object that inevitably also classifies both fundamental strings and NS5 brains. However the MMS prescription for calculating twisted K-theory is easily S-covariantized, as the Fried-Witten anomalies respect S-duality. Thus the S-covariantized form of the MMS construction may be applied to construct the S-covariantized twisted K-theory, as a set, without knowing having any geometric description for just what this strange covariant object is. This program has been carried out in a number of papers, such as Evslin and Varadarajan and Evslin and was also applied to the classification of fluxes by Evslin Bunecht et al. use this approach to prove Diaconescu, Moore, and Witten's conjectured constraint on the three fluxes, and they show that there is an additional term equal to the D3 brain charge. Evslin shows that the klebanov strassler cascade of Cyberg dualities consists of a series of S-dual MMS and Stantons, one for each Cyberg duality. The group Zn Z N of universality classes of the SU M plus N times SU M displaystyle SU M plus N times SU M supersymmetric gauge theory is then shown to agree with the S dual twisted K theory and not with the original twisted K theory. Some authors have proposed radically different solutions to this puzzle. For example, Chris and Sutty propose that instead of twisted K-theory, two string theory configurations should be classified by elliptic cohomology. Researchers Prominent researchers in this area include Edward Witten, Peter Bunecht, Angel Aranga, Emmanuel Diaconescu, Gregory Moore, Anton Kapustin, Jonathan Rosenberg, Ruben Minajan, Amihe Hanani, Hisham Sutti, Nathan Seiberg, Juan Maldacena, Daniel Fried, and Igor Kriz. See also Cal Bramond Field equals equals notes. <laughs>